Do you know of any country in the Middle East that has nuclear weapons? Well, um, Helen Thomas always wanted answers from the President of the United States. Mr. President, when are you holding a news conference? As the White House correspondent for United Press International for 40 years and then as a columnist, Thomas confronted 10 presidents with bulldog persistence. Why did you really want to go to war? Thomas was born to Lebanese immigrants and grew up in Michigan. After college, she moved to Washington and in 1943 went to work as a writer for United Press. Her big break came in 1960 when she became the first woman reporter at the White House to cover the president, not just the first lady. Thank you. Thank you. She went on to be the first female president of the White House Correspondents Association and the first woman admitted to another Washington institution, the Gridiron Club. President Johnson once complained that he first learned of his daughter Lucy's engagement from one of Thomas's stories. But her own engagement to Associated Press reporter Doug Cornell was only revealed after Pat Nixon spilled the beans to a room full of their colleagues. She laughed easily with one president after another, but that never stopped her from asking them hard questions. Do you know of any money that could have gone in? No, I have no knowledge of that. Helen Thomas was tough, cantankerous, and opinionated. Her opinion ultimately got her in trouble. These people are occupied. A lifelong champion of the Palestinian cause, she said in an impromptu 2010 interview that Israel should get out of Palestine. After apologizing for the remark, she retired. In a statement today, President Obama said what made Helen the dean of the White House press corps was not just the length of her tenure, but her fierce belief that our democracy works best when we ask tough questions and hold our leaders to account. Bill Plant, CBS News, Washington.